Well, good morning and welcome to your Sunday Gardener. I'm John Collins along with Carrie Engel from Valley View Farms. Spring has sprung. I know, it's great. Get outside, time to get our hands dirty, get some stuff in the ground and just enjoy these longer days. Absolutely. Now, one of the first flowers to either come back from what you put in last year or you can put in the ground now are pansies. And of course, these guys, if they've been in the ground, are coming are up. Are coming up now, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so they're great. So a lot of times I like to plant these together for a couple of reasons. Daffodils are toxic to animals, so they don't like them. Uh, pansies, not so much. They do seem they to like them. those. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes we can do almost a barrier planting of some daffodils or put them in the same area, and maybe that'll help keep the animals away. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are some other tricks of the trade that we've used here. Um, this one's especially good. It's the rabbit repellent. Um, this has an extra thing for baby bunnies because baby bunnies are, have very voracious appetites and they're just going to go through your garden. Uh, this has in some cinnamon oil. Watch how you spray it on your plants. Don't spray it in the middle of the day, but that's going to keep the rabbits out. Mm -hmm. If you want to do a one size fits all kind of thing, the repels all works. Again, for anything at the ground, um, if you have trees and shrubs, though, and you have deer browsing, once you get over about 30 inches tall, you're going to want to either spray them or use the deer tape. But right. this will work is from... The, this is the granular yeah. that sits on the soil, right? And then squirrel stopper, these are, these are my guys. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but I'll just spray that around some of my plants and it seems to keep them away. Right, now if you've already, if you put some of these pansies in last year, uh, mine have been browsed down. <laughs> right. uh, so they've been topped a lot. Uh, they're still there. They haven't been taken out of the ground or anything. So is there anything you can do to help them come along? I well, mean, again, you can start using recover. this and that'll keep them away. A lot of people, when you see landscapers, I have a golf course mm -hmm. near me, and they take netting and, and arc it over the bed, and you don't really see that netting from, from a, a distance. distance right. Yeah, so that works out fine. Okay, so we want what we, we've got here. This is an interesting little device. This is neat. This is a bloom bag, and we're starting mm -hmm. to see a lot of these in different sizes. You'll notice um, instead of drainage in the bottom, the drainage is down here. Now with all container pots, I fill them all the way up with soil. The only reason I'd use rocks is if somebody was going to take it away from me. But this for breeds drainage, a lot. Yeah. This breeds a lot. Now we don't have time. We only have about a minute left. We don't really have time to really dig in here uh, all we'll that much. We'll fake it a little bit, but, yep. Uh, uh, it is easy to plant. This is a great idea. Yep. Now, because this is such a porous thing, even more, more so than a clay pot, let's say, uh, this is going to need a lot of water once it starts warming up, right? It is, and we'll just have to watch that with it. It is porous, but I'm, honestly, that's the thing that puts our plants in danger more than anything else. Is overwatering. Is overwatering. So this is a good way to kind of go, ooh, that one's in there pretty good. <laughs> okay. There you go. Boy, that's really pot bound with those really fine I'm roots. Just they're the yeah. ones that are good feeders, right? Or good. They are, and that's when yeah. you know you have a healthy plant and when you have those nice white roots. Let's just take that daffodil that and oh, plop it in here. Daffodil? I'll put that kind of in the back. And that'll be fun. Oh, he's repelling. Yep. But he's a pretty, so that, I mean, that's about it. That's kind of a fake planting, as you can see. We always add a little osmocote in the bottom. A um, little boost. A little Although boost. Although this is the time of the year to think about fertilizing, because this is where the plants really start wanting to go, right? It is. I mean, as these plants grow and root out, they're going to be in great shape. So that's ready to go. And what's nice about that, once the pansies are done by about midsummer, pull it out, start with something new. Okay, great. Spring has sprung, and we're out of time. All right. <laughs> Next week, more on your Sunday Gardener. We'll see you then. If you have a garden question, send it to Sunday Gardener, WBAL TV, 3800 Hooper Avenue, Baltimore, Maryland, 21211. Or you can go to the website, WBALTV.com.